So there's another shooting uh, over the weekend. I know it's hard to keep track of all the different mass shootings that there are across the country. Uh, but this one happened in Tallahassee. Uh, now, this was at a hot yoga studio. Um, at, and, and basically, what happened is that there was a, a, a man that came in um, and fired his weapon, killing two people. Now, the man is identified as Scott Bariel. Bariel? Um, now, he apparently uh, killed two women and injured four other women uh, as well as uh, a man. Uh, those killed were identified as Dr. Nancy Bessem, 61 years old, who worked at Florida State's University College of Medicine, and an FSU student, Mara Binkley, uh, who was only 21 years old. So, uh, obviously a, a gigantic tragedy. Uh, now, let's get into more details about who this person uh, is. Uh, who, by the way, uh, when uh, after he had killed uh, 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 Dr. Vesum uh, and and uh, Miss Brink and this uh, Binkley, uh, he turned the gun on himself uh, and and killed himself. Obviously, uh, now who is this guy, right? Uh, and what drove him to do it? Well, apparently, this guy is known as an incel or involuntary celibate. Uh, now he. Turns out he's got a history of creating misogynistic videos uh, and and songs. Great. Uh, let me give you some examples here. Uh, now, on a YouTube channel back in 2014, uh, according to BuzzFeed, uh, Barriel, I believe, filmed several videos of himself offering extremely racist and misogynistic opinions, basically calling women sluts and uh, whores, and talked about the collective treachery of women he had gone to high school with oh lovely uh now <clears throat> in one video called plight of the adolescent male he named elliot roger uh elliot roger of course uh is the famous uh first incel uh shooter he killed six people in isla vista california so now they talk about him they hold him up as some sort of hero some sort of Martyr for the cause. Oh boy, that's uh, super disgusting. If you hold someone like that up as a as a hero, there is something wrong with you. Anyway, now he said in this, I'd like to send a message now to the adolescent males that are in any position, or I'm sorry, that are in the position, the situation, the disposition of Elliot Roger of not getting any. No love, no nothing. This endless wasteland that breeds this longing and this frustration. That was me, certainly, as an adolescent. Well, apparently, he did not grow out of that. Um, and look, uh, here's the thing. People like that, they kind of make their own, you know, they, they make their own bet. They kind of make their own grade. Uh, and this time, apparently, it was literal. Um, it turns out that maybe if you just respected women and as people and actually try to form real like relationships with actual you know with women and treat them as their people and stop expecting things from them and that's the thing that's the mindset of a lot of these people right they see women and sex as a commodity well if i'm you know if if i treat them a certain way then they are in, they're obligated to give me what i want and what i want is sex what I want is that, you know, physical whatever, right? Well, that's not how shit works. They're, women are like a cash machine. If you put in enough kindness or whatever or enough gifts, it's, sex isn't going to pop out. That's, that's not how shit works, right? So these people are the ultimate entitled males, right? So they think, oh, well, I'm entitled to a woman's body. And if they're not giving it to me, then I'm going to be mad at them because they're all whores and terrible that's funny. How can they be whores when you're not getting it? It's just a classic, you know, bit of uh, just 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 anger and frustration, uh, which makes no sense. But anyway, another of Burl's, uh, uh, his videos was titled Rebirth of My Misogynism. And of course, he blames women for that rebirth. Um, in the video, he said that they were capable of treachery and lying. And then he also spoke aggressively about women giving them their phone number, even when they had a boyfriend, and how angry it made him. 
He also mentioned a girl who canceled dates on him. Quote, I could have ripped her head off. So, okay, look, if you want to say, okay, this is a, it seems like a pretty troubled guy. But what harm could he do? I mean, these are just videos. He's just venting his frustration. Well, it was a lot more than venting frustration. And this is before the shooting, right? Um, apparently, police said he had been previously investigated for literally harassing women on the street. Uh, for example, in 2012, two students of FSU reported him to police after he grabbed them in a sexual manner uh, at a dining hall on campus. According to FSU Police Department reports, he was a student at the university at the time of the incident. Two years later, when he was no longer affiliated with FSU, a campus employee called police to report a suspicious person after he saw him following a volleyball coach at a campus gym. The officer said he had initially told him that he was a student, but then later admitted, uh, well, I was a student like way back when I had actually graduated. Uh, and of course, he ended up being uh, barred from campus. He had been issued a trespass warning for all of campus, according to the reports. A few weeks later, he was spotted on campus again and arrested for trespassing. So this person is obviously, I mean, had a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, and how did he how did he deal with those problems? He dealt with those problems with violence. Uh, and that is horrific. Now, there's more. Uh, in 2016, he told a young woman who was laying out at the pool of an apartment complex that she had, quote, a nice butt. She said, thank you. He then offered to put sunscreen on it. She told him, no, thank you. He then asked her name, said it was nice to meet her, and then grabbed her ass. Oh, you don't do that. She says, no, that means no. That, that just means no. So again, this guy was blaming everyone else for his own problems. That's the thing with the incel community. It, it's not their fault that you're not getting any. It's your fault. You suck. You're being a loser. And, and I know it's, it's, you'd be like, come on, Jeff. Well, how can you say that? Well, look, I, I was in that position once before. It's not easy for me to admit. Uh, but look, back when I was, you know, in my early 20s, I had some bad relationships. And I went through something similar. And, you know, sometimes I had thoughts that I think back and I'm like, oh, my God, that's embarrassing. Right. So, look, I've been frustrated before. And, you know, I understand the mindset that some of these people have i'm not saying all of these people but some is in like i'm so i'm an, i'm a nice person to this other to this woman why why doesn't she see that why doesn't she you know like understand why she's going out with assholes right it's always that thinking and that of course can like that can lead to very dark and terrible things now luckily i didn't go in that direction right luckily i realized that hey maybe you know what women are people and maybe we should actually treat them as people and actually not view people as uh, women as objects. Oh my God, it's crazy, right? Well, these people don't see that. And what's, re what's really making it worse, making people not able to wake up from that deluded mindset is now you have internet groups and you have people that reinforce that with each other. They get on chat rooms or, you know, Discord or whatever and complain to each other about how terrible women are. And it, it just reinforces this behavior. And of course, there are people who end up taking this to an extreme. And this is what happened with this guy. I mean, people like this, they, there is something deeply, deeply wrong with them uh, and deeply wrong within that culture uh, of incel. And so look, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do about the problem, to be honest with you. I don't know if there's a legislative solution, but I do know that, you know, maybe we should do something at least about easy access to guns. I know it's weird turning this into a, from incels to, to, to guns, but look, if everybody has easy access to guns, well, that's, that's going to lead to more shootings. 
And so at least that might be a band-aid in this point, but we've got to find a way to, to make it so that these people don't hurt other people. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.